October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and tonight Portsmouth is sounding the alarm. The city has the highest mortality rate for breast cancer in Hampton Roads, but the health department now trying to change that. Shane Fordham joins us now in the studio to explain. Well, the Portsmouth Health Department, in partnership with Centara Health, hosted a breast cancer awareness rally today, encouraging Portsmouth residents to seek early screening and detection. Today is the day that we're having our pink rally. So we're trying to get information out about breast cancer, women's health, and health in general in, in regards to resources that are available. This pink rally event was highlighted by a survivor's walk inspired by those who have battled breast cancer and won. It was also an opportunity for attendees to be educated on self-exams while also allowing them to take part in on-site mammograms. Um, so we really encourage women to just go ahead and bite the bullet, make the appointment, get the mammogram done. Cancer is about finding it early. So it can be treated and, um, and with a less invasive treatment. And the chances of probabilities are really high. We find it in early stages, it's around 97%. And then if we find it later on, it's around, it drops down to 35%. This event was also a celebration for the new Portsmouth Women's Imaging Center scheduled to open in 2025. Portsmouth has the highest breast cancer mortality rate in Hampton Roads. Once the imaging center opens, Portsmouth residents will no longer have to travel to neighboring cities for mammograms and methods of detection. It's huge. Um, the fact that women have to drive outside of the city, um, but having the built facility means that we'll have so many more opportunities on a bus line for people to be able to get their mammograms done. What we want to do is to ensure that we're linking the community to the resources that they need. Paulson says one of the biggest myths is that you should wait to get checked until you feel a lump, but she says by then you may have waited too long. Shane Fordham, 13 News Now. Okay, Shane, thanks.